bundled up and lose a little sleep, and you just might be rewarded with some out-of-this-world fireworks. Alex Dimitri, Alex Dimitri reports NASA says tonight will be peak viewing time for the Geminid meteor shower. First of all, don't expect anything like this. Large fireballs take good-sized space rocks. Instead, the Geminid meteor shower will consist of bright, sometimes colorful, streaks of light. Tonight uh, is going to be one of the best meteor showers of the year. We're hoping that we can see maybe 120 an hour, which is really spectacular. Look to the south and the constellations of Orion and Gemini, which gives the Geminids their name. But unlike other meteor showers, which happen as the Earth passes through the dusty debris of a comet's tail, the Geminids are the unique leftovers of the gravel that trailed behind a rocky asteroid. These meteors are um, actually probably a little bigger and a little thicker because they're from an asteroid as opposed to the dust from a tail of a comet. So they're going to take longer to burn up as they come in. So they're going to leave longer streaks we're hoping for. Meteors may be the draw tonight, but they aren't the only show. Hubble Telescope's annual holiday photo focuses on the globular star cluster M79. It will be visible tonight, but not with Hubble's close-up vision, but a backyard telescope will pick it up, as well as a good view of Jupiter and four of its moons. But no matter how you look up... Uh, first of all, you want to go out and you want to make sure your eyes adjust, so go out about 30 minutes before you're going to take a look at these things. And the darker the viewing area, the better, to see what promises to be a night filled with shooting stars. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. Well, according to NASA, the meteors should start appearing after 10 p.m. with best viewing beginning around midnight.